All right, we're gonna get back to work on this later today, but first, I have a fan that wants to buy this new speed power pulley off my TDI. So I'm just gonna get that packaged up, see how much it's gonna cost to ship, and then we're gonna go run, get some more parts for this rock crusher, run a few other errands, so we'll be back in a little bit. Got a package from Europe right here for my buddy Joko Jinder. I also picked up some metal while I was out running errands today. Yeah, this one inch metal steel rod was the most expensive, but I'm gonna use that to machine some wheel hubs for my wheels. And then the angle iron are also gonna be part of the legs. And then the steel right here, because the back to adjust the height, I bought it so that it slides inside of the other steel to make some adjustable legs. So that's what I call some serious packaging. This is the beers that I got from Joko Ginger. Now everybody knows that my pronunciation is shit, so Joko has made it easier for us. So just give me one second here. Hi Jerry, it's me, Joko Ginder from Hungary. I tell the names for the beers, for the left side to the right. The first one is Löwenbräu. The another one, König Pilsner. It's mean King Pilsner. The third one, Warsteiner. The fourth one, it's Polaner, it's a wheat beer. The fifth one, it's Kronbacher Hell. Not Hell with the devil, it's mean a clear beer. And the last one is Pex. Greetings from Hungary. I want to thank you once again for sending me some beers. This is the second time that he sent me beers. And I'm giving you another shout out again. Much appreciated. I'm looking forward to sampling those ones as well. The last ones were good, so I'm pretty sure these ones will be as well. Before we can do anything, I need to clean this hoard up. I got shit all over the place. I need to get somewhat organized. I made some room here because now to work on the rock crush, I'm going to use my motorcycle stand to build the legs and everything else. And also because on the bench, it's going to get too damn heavy for me to lift off, so finish that part now but what I'm going to show you guys now is that you guys seems to be some confusion are wondering how the decompression works in the Honda GX160 so what I did is I pulled the cover off the pump that's got laying on its side I made sure my timing marks were aligned first and now I'm just going to pull this out so how this works that there's a spring on there and you can see how that works so when the camshaft starts spinning this weight will pull out and that little bump right there is to help lift the exhaust valve to decompress the engine and you can see right there I guess these might be called lifters but that's how they are. They're quite a bit bigger than what the camshaft lobe is. So that's where that's going to come into play. To be honest, I didn't even notice the decompression valve and it was staring at me right in the face when I had that engine apart. Main reason is for a small engine like that, I didn't assume that it would have one, but apparently they do. So hopefully that clarifies it now. Tomorrow, I am going to put the summer tires back on the Jetta because I don't think it's going to snow again. If it does, it's going to stay. So we're probably not going to get back to this project till closer to Friday, but we'll see. Well, let's get some things done today. It was supposed to be a nice day. I was going to plan on changing over my tires, but that didn't quite happen. It's kind of not so nice out, but what we are going to do... I got some new carbide bits for my lathe, and I got some hockey pucks. Now what I'm going to do with this hockey puck is on the newer vehicles, like on my Jetta, when you jack it up, it's got that little rail that you're supposed to jack it up on, but I don't like putting the jack under that and jacking it up. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this hockey puck in the middle, and we're going to mill a line through it. That way this hockey puck can sit on the jack and then lift it up. I'll feel a whole lot better that way. I don't know why, but it just doesn't seem secure to me to use a jack because there's nowhere for that rail to really sit. So let's get the lathe set up and 
We'll see how well hockey puck will fucking machine. I just gotta pull the little vise off and put that block on down there. I'm all set up. What I'm gonna do is use the feed on the lathe to cut it this way. Because you remember when I cut the key on the shaft that didn't turn out so straight, we went this way because there's a lot of play in this bed. But right now I have it tightened down, so I should be able to get a clean cut across. Well, let's see what's going to happen. That's coming along pretty good. I'm just going to make it a little bit deeper. I think this will work just perfect. It's nice and straight too. And it fits nice on my jack. It's really what I want. Okay, we need to start manufacturing the legs. And this is pretty much like the perfect height I want it. And then around there, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut four pieces of angle iron, four inches, that will be welded on the side and then the legs will be attached on there. Can you hear that? It's windy and rainy now which sucks. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to measure two inches up in here. We're going to put that in there, clamp it. Then we're going to weld that. Then we're going to drill a hole in the end here because that's going to be where the tire is going to mount. And I'm going to machine an axle stub for that with the uh, one inch round bar I got. So let's get this all set up. I just tacked that into place and I'm going to weld her up. I got this part of the leg made. What I like about metal is that if you screw up, you can fix it. Like right there, I drilled the hole in the wrong place, so I had to weld it back in. So now, we can weld these up, but not today. We're going to machine the wheel hubs for these in the next video. Which means, it's motherfucking beer time now. All right, motherfucking beer time. The old Milwaukee with the pinup girl. Sorry for the short video. It's been kind of an odd week since I got back from camping, which I'm going to tell you again, it was the coldest fucking night of my life, and I'm probably going to look at investing in a much colder temperature sleeping bag than what I got, and once I get that sorted out, I'll be fine. Most likely a cot, but I don't want to spend money on a cot and fucking carry around all this shit. So I don't think I'm going to be in the garage tomorrow. I'm thinking about going out hiking tomorrow because now it's getting nice out. There's no excuse for me to get out, do some exercise, do some things I love. So I'm going to do that. Then we're going to continue working on this. Hopefully Friday, change the tires over on my car, um, maybe change oil, and then start machining the hubs. I don't know yet. We're going to figure all this shit out. But this Rock Crusher project has been going on for far too long and I need to put a nail in it and fucking finish it move on to the next project because by May I want to start working on the car and work hard on the car all summer then maybe take on some small projects I'm not too sure yet but anyways it's motherfucking beer time if you guys have any questions or comments post them below otherwise I want to thank you guys for watching